Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've talked you through a workout. Uh, I do a lot of follow me programs. Um, also check out my free spirit Pilates Instagram. Lots of ideas for you to do at home while we wait this Corona lockdown out. Uh, anyhow, today it's all about the small ball. Uh, the small ball is a great prop if you want to work the muscles a little deeper. So uh, we're going to do a full body Workout, everybody can join. All you need to do is grab your mat and your ball and let's begin. So start with the hip with a part position at the end of the mat. Grab your ball, press it against your chest and let's start with some uh, breathing. So inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. And inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. So next time, inhale, extend the spine and then press the ball a little bit against the chest and exhale, flex your spine. So my hips are still, but I'm trying to move my upper body and just the press against the chest with my hands gives me a little more feeling of lengthening out through my spine. Just keep breathing. So exhale as you flex your spine, lower your shoulders and inhale, extend. <laughs> and maybe you can feel a little more movement. I feel like I'm not extending one bit. Feels a little stiff. And last one. And just return, standing uh, straight and then lower your ball and then roll down. So roll down, just let your ball go down through your legs and stay here. Bend your legs and extend your spine. Inhale and exhale, round up. Just like cat cow, standing cat cow. And again, inhale, exhale. Flex your spine and then bend your knees and round up. Pull your abs in and up and inhale, extend your spine and exhale. Maybe come to your toes and balance for a bit. Just do two more like this. Bend your knees. Extend your knees and maybe come to a balance. <laughs> and it is a balance because the ball isn't steady. So hold your balance and bend again. And exhale, round up and come to your tippy toes. <laughs> Good, lower your heels, roll your ball a little further away and then come to your downward facing dog. Lower your heels, straighten out your back, lift your tailbone to the sky and then bend your knees and extend your knees. And again, bend and extend. And two more. And last one. And then roll the ball back and just put your ball above your ankles and squeeze the ball as you roll up. Vertebra by vertebra, stack your spine, shoulders down the back and then come to a squat position. Down and as you lower off, lift to your tippy toes and again sit down. And inhale, lift up, exhale, sit down and lift up, shoulders down, keep your balance, squeeze the ball and again, down 
and come up. And last one. Down. And lift up. Yes. So lower your heels and then just put the ball on the one foot and balance again. And we're going to try to do the same. So bend down and lift up. Woo! <laughs> so hot. <laughs> and again. When you have done it a few times, you find your balance. Just what you have to do to tune everything in to stay here in balance. So sit down, up and balance. And again, squat down and balance. So of course we're gonna do the other foot exactly the same. Maybe it will feel different. We'll see. And again, squat. And come up. <laughs> and sit down. And up. And again. Bend. Lift up. <laughs> Last one. And up. Yes, lower your heels. And again, put your ball between your ankles and roll down and walk to the front. And then just go back and forth. Forth, reduce your shoulders, keep your body still. So just rocking a little back and forth through your heels and in your shoulders. Stay to the front and bend your elbows all the way down. Extend your spine up to your cobra, maybe a baby cobra. See what your spine is up to today and just do what you can do. And then lower down. So we're gonna do a little uh, double leg kick variation. So hands comes to the back, interlace your fingers and just do three small kicks. So it's one, two, three, lift up, extend and lower down and turn your head to the other side. Stay, one, two, three, lift everything up, palms to the ceiling, lower down and again, one, two, three, Keep squeezing your ball, lower down, and again, one, two, three, lift up. And other side, last one, one, two, three, lift, and come down. Hands under your shoulders and just come back, sit in your child's pose position, round your spine. Press your hands against the mat and try to make some space in your lower back. Yes. And then grab your ball to your hands. Come to the floor. Not a, not a lot of room here. <laughs> and hands together to the front and then Pull your ball in towards your chest as you extend your spine up. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, shoulder blades back. Chest wants to come to the front. And exhale, slowly down. And again. Pull your shoulders back and extend your spine. And exhale, lower down. Two more. Up, up, up. Press down towards the ball. And come down. Last one. Shoulder blades back. Extend your spine. And exhale, come back down. Yes, help yourself back. 
find your child's position, child's pose position again, and just relax, just for a second. Inhale, in through the nose, and exhale, out through the mouth. And then roll all the way up. Good. So, the ball comes back. You come to a standing position. You want to put your heels up against the ball. And then walk to your downward facing dog position. Push yourself back against your ball. And stay. And again, for a little balance, tuck your right knee in and come to your three legged dog. And then come to the front, keep pressing your heel back against the ball and lift all the way up. And knee to your chest, all the way back up. And again, knee to your chest. And lift your leg up. Last one. Knee to your chest. And three legged dog. Lower your leg. Change your leg. Other leg lifts up. And knee to your chest. And right back up. And knee to your chest. Lift your leg up. <laughs> And again, knee to your chest, scoop your abs in, and lift your leg up, last one, knee to your chest, and come up, lower your leg, heels towards the ball, walk all the way back, press your heels down, find your balance, bend your knees, and see if you can roll up, <laughs> stack your spine, Arms overhead, hands behind, and then do some plie, bend down, and lift up. Lower yourself down, lift all the way up, and down, and press up. Two more, down, and up. Last one, down and lift up and let go of your ball. <laughs> so, let's sit down. The ball comes just uh, in your lower back so you can feel when you, you scoop your abs in and up. It's like you're pushing in uh, towards the ball. Arms to the front and then just push to the ball a little bit and up. A little bit back and up. And again, small roll back and up. Exhale, press in towards the ball and lift up. And four more. Three. Two. And last one. And just come all the way up. Lift your arms, extend your spine, and then again, roll back. Make sure the ball <laughs> isn't gone. And then twist to one side, and then again, come a little bit back and up. A little bit back and up. So keep squeezing in through the abs towards the ball as you curl back and up. And again, back and up. And three more, two more, last one up, extend your spine, back down, twist, grab your ball, <laughs> and again a little bit up, and squeeze it down, a little bit up, and squeeze up, and down. And a little bit up and down. And one more. Twist and all the way up. Extend your spine and arms comes down. So just uh, roll your ball a little bit back. So when you roll back, it's just beneath your shoulder blades. So now extend your spine 
over the ball and then lift up and twist to one knee. Down, twist to the other knee. Extend over the ball and twist. And again, twist. And over, twist. And again, two more. Down, lift and twist. And down, twist. So straighten out your legs. Do the same again. So up and over your ball. And this time, roll all the way up. Reach for your foot and twist. And come back over your ball. All the way up, other side, twist and turn. And again, back, extend over your ball, up, grab your foot, twist and turn. And again, over your ball and up, twist and turn. Good, stay here, arms to the side, press your arms back. Ah, small pulses. Continue, five, four, three, two, one. Check out your ball a little bit further back and with straight legs, roll all the way back, just between your shoulder blades, arms to the back, roll up. Reach for your feet and roll back. And again, up, vertebra by vertebra, roll and fall forward fold. And arms to the back, chin to your chest and roll up. And back. So it feels really great for your upper spine to, to get the, the small push from the ball for the extension. Well, lots of us uh, have these uh, uh, forward uh, shoulders, protracted shoulders. So it's really nice to, to open up. So maybe we should just stay just for a second down here with the ball between our shoulder blades and open your arms. If you need a small cushion under your head, please do so, so it's not too much. For me, this is great. I feel, uh, it's, it feels perfect. Open your chest, breathe just for a while here. Try to let go of any tension over your chest and your back. Stay. Two more breaths. And just last one. And arms overhead and just roll up. Yes. So you're gonna use the ball for a little uh, abdominal five series. You you must have, uh, many of you know so the classical five at five series. So this is what we're gonna do with the ball as a prop. So roll all the way down. We're gonna start with the single leg stretches and use the ball to emphasize the, the abdominal um, traction down. So push to the knee and feel how your abs wants to go down towards the floor. And exhale. <sighs> And keep your upper body lifted so you can see what's going on out there. See your toes. And five, four, three, two, and one. Double leg stretches, arms overhead, strain your legs. And when you bend, put your ball in between your ankles and lengthen everything out. 
balls is between your hands and stretch your legs and arms and continue like this, alternating uh, the ball between your hands and your feet. And abs stays in. So you use your exhalation to lower your abs down. And four more. Three. Two. And one. And maybe you need to give your head a little rest. <laughs> Next one, legs up for the scissors. And for this one, ball goes in a circle down under your leg and change and change. So stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one double leg lower and lift ball comes between your angles and lower down two three everything goes up down two three lift and lengthen up down two three and lift up and lift up three more lift two up and last one and come up for the crisscross so twist and twist and just reach your ball to the side and try to really tri twist your upper body so you're not just reaching the ball away so eight seven six five four, three, two, and one. And roll all the way up. We are gonna do rolling like a ball. So comes to the front and then squeeze your ball under your, between your thighs. And maybe hands comes to, to the chins or you're just uh, reaching forward and then roll back and keep squeezing the ball. Roll, exhale, lift, inhale, up, lift. So keep squeezing with your hamstrings. And up, and lift. And four more. Three. Two. And the last. So we're gonna do a little bridge variation. Ball comes under your feet and then roll down. And just try to pull the ball a little in. Press your feet down towards the ball. Lengthen your arms by your side. And then inhale, stay and exhale, roll up and roll down. And again, Roll up, press your feet down, keep your balance, <laughs> and roll down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And two more. Roll down. Last one. Roll up. And down. And then just one foot on the ball, and then again. Roll up and roll down and roll up through the spine and roll down. Next one, stay and then lengthen out your leg and bend it in. So try not to lower the hip. Just keep squeezing your buttocks to keep the hips lifted. And five, four, Three, two, last one. Press the foot down and roll down. Other leg, 
One more. So roll up and roll down. Press your foot down towards the ball as you roll. And keep yourself steady, as steady as possible. Two more up. And roll down. Last one. Roll up and down. So of course we are gonna stay. Roll all the way up, stay. And straighten your leg. Bend it in and keep lifting your hip as high as possible. Keep your center line, so abs in and up, glutes, inner thighs, and two more. Last one, press the ball down, roll the spine down. Good, so ball to your hands, lengthen everything out, and then roll up. And forward fold. And roll up. And you're done. So I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, if you want to see more, please uh, go back, check out my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a little comment if you like. Um, I would love to get some ideas what you would like to see next time. See ya!